who is part of our family system. I'm going to explain this from the perspective of family constellations, in the sense of who can we have entanglements with, these energetic bonds that affect our life. Because it's not only our ancestors, but others as well, and I'm going to explain this more. So we belong in the system of our siblings, our children, our parents and their siblings, grandparents and their siblings, great-grandparents and their siblings, and so on. Most of the issues that we have in our life come from three to four generations back. If there is a big trauma, a tragic event that our ancestors were not able to deal with, it can come from further generations back, around this, up to the seventh generation. And if there is this cultural trauma that has affected many, and we're connected to that, it can come from further generations back, like the Holocaust and slavery. And we can have entanglements to others as well, for example, to ex-partners. So I can have an entanglement with an ex-partner of my father if that person is not honored, respected, and thanked. Because thanks to that person leaving the relationship, the new relationship could exist, the relationship with my mother, and I was able to be born. That ex-partner made place for my mom to have a relationship with my dad and for me to have life. So it's important to, to, that these ex-partners are honored and respected and thanked. And sometimes when that's not happening, others, especially the children, can have entanglement with the ex-partners. So this is something that's important to know. We can also have connections with members that are actually not part of our system, but that belong because of something that happened. So for example, where there's a crime, both victim and perpetrator form part of the family system, even if one of them has nothing to do with the family. If somebody does something that's very beneficial to the family system, then that person also belongs in the system. So for example, when someone suddenly gives a lot of money to the family, and this is something that's helpful, for the well-being of the family, then that person that gave the money, it's also part of the system, there's a connection. So these are all like connections with the members of the family, connections that are important, that need to be honored, respected, that need, need to be seen. And this is why they belong, this is why we can have entanglements with them, because they form part of the system in the sense that something that happened with them made space, made something that affected many members in the family system. So this is something that can also happen. And this is what I wanted to share with you today.